question of you relevant to your right to testify? The answer came Thursday to one of the most talked about questions in this trial. Would former police of officer Derek Chauvin, charged with the murder of George Floyd, take the stand in his own defence? After a lengthy meeting um, last night, we had some further discussion, agreed? Correct. And um, have you made a decision uh, today whether you intend to testify or whether you intend to invoke your Fifth Amendment privilege? Uh, I will invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege today. That right. Fifth Amendment you right protects defendants against self-incrimination. In another exchange before the jury was brought into the courtroom, Judge Peter Cahill rejected prosecutors' request to introduce new evidence to show carbon monoxide levels in Floyd's blood were within the normal range. It came after a defence witness Wednesday raised the issue of possible carbon monoxide poisoning as contributing to Floyd's death. If he even hints that there are test results that the jury has not heard about, it's going to be a mistrial, pure and simple. But with the jury again in place, the prosecution's rebuttal witness, Dr. Martin Tobin, did knock down the theory without the omission of any new evidence. Does that tell us anything whatsoever about what the carbon monoxide content could have been at a maximum in Yes, this it does. It tells us that if, if the hemoglobin is saturated at 98 percent, it tells you all there was for everything else is 2 percent. And so the maximum amount of carbon, carbon monoxide would be 2 percent. Normal. Very, I mean, which is normal. From 16 kilometres away in Brooklyn Centre, further clashes between police and protesters following Sunday's police shooting of Dante Wright by a white police officer during a traffic stop. The officer Kim Potter, who resigned following the shooting, made her first court appearance via video conference. She faces a second-degree manslaughter charge that carries a maximum prison sentence of 10 years. Wright's mother, meanwhile, spoke at a news conference about what she expects going forward. Unfortunately, there's never going to be justice for us. Justice isn't even a word to me. I do want accountability, 100% accountability. Mm -hmm. Her frustration echoed by so many in this community. No matter what's going on, it's like they don't care. So the emotions is very high and the anger is very high. That's why the people is doing what they're doing. The clashes this week following Dante Wright's death underline that this is a city under strain. And with jury deliberations in Chauvin's trial due to begin next week, the eyes of the world are watching events closely. The stakes are high on all sides and law enforcement stand ready to respond to any further unrest. Dan Williams, CGTN, Brooklyn Centre, Minnesota.